Making the Olympic rings. To begin, click on Geometric. Scroll down and find a thin torus. Drag it onto the desktop. Drag another one down and overlay it. We want to create the Olympic ring image. We're going to put five out altogether and position them. With your mouse holding the center button, you can move the whole table around. With your mouse holding the right button, you can tilt up and down. With your left button, you can draw a box. Zoom in with the scroll wheel items. If you are happy with the positioning, and mine's pretty good there, you can leave it as is. If not, click on one and drag it across. If you don't like what you've done, you can use undo. I'm going to move this one across just a little bit to there. That looks pretty good. Now you can color the rings. Click on one and choose color. And then do that for each of the remaining rings. You can either follow the exact Olympic ring coloration or you can choose your own that you like. And we've finished. We have our Olympic rings. Next we need to give this a name, we're going to change the funny name that it has, each time it will give it a funny name, and you should use your name and what it is. I'm going to call this Anthony Rings and save. Okay, so I have now got my object done, and if I was going to print that, I would download it for 3D printing, which would involve me choosing the still file, STL extension, and when that's come down here, that is ready to be opened up by our software for the 3D printer.